The Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Hi, I'm Amber Bell and this is Real Agriculture. I'm here today with Aiden Philipchuk, who is a sales agronomist with Pride Seeds, and we're going to be doing a corn school talking about tillers in corn. So welcome, Aiden. It's great to have you. Thanks. It's a pleasure to be here and having you out here. So exactly when do tillers develop in corn, Aiden? So typically we're going to see tillers coming up right around V3 to V6. So that's your three to six collar leaf stage. We're going to see this usually because there's an excess amount of sunlight hitting those plants in between the rows and since it's a grass crop they're going to automatically want to start tillering okay so what is the importance of tillers and recognizing when they're there and what can they tell us first things off you're going to have an excess of nutrients or like just ideal growing conditions so lots of sunlight lots of nutrients hitting it and it's ready to go. Since it is a grass crop, when it has that, it's gonna to wanna to branch off and just keep growing more as, as much as it can. The second reason why we're gonna see tillers is from early stress. Any stress that hits that main stalk of the plant is gonna ca could cause tillers. We're gonna see like wind damage, hail, maybe even insects hitting it, or even if you're just running it over with the sprayer as you're doing your first and second passes. So, and then the third reason why we could see tillers or more tillering is some genetic differences between hybrids. Some hybrids are going to want to throw more tillers and some typically won't want to. So Aiden, are tillers in corn a good thing or a bad thing? Like I'm out in my field, you know, I notice them out there. Is What am I supposed to be concerned about? Well, typically it's not going to be really cause for concern, especially if you're only seeing like one tiller per plant. But if you are starting to see three or four tillers per plant, you're going to maybe start thinking about some management decisions you could be changing. So you could have either excess nitrogen or your planting population is just not a, that target goal you wanted to. And the corn's gonna just have more room to grow those tillers. Looking at a silage perspective, typically we could see, some studies have said that you could see a little bit higher overall yield, but it's uh, it won't be that much of a difference. When you're actually when it's growing, that it will help with canopy closure as the tillers grow. So that will help for a little bit of weed suppression and just overall canopy closure. Looking at a grain perspective though, when you are, when you do have a lot of tillers, that could affect your uh, ear. So as those nutrients are going, putting, getting put into those tillers, they might not be able to cannibalize them quick enough to bring them back up into that ear. What would be the first steps to take if you're noticing that out in the field? Well, I think just taking a good walk through your field and seeing which areas do have more tillers or if it's pretty uniform across the whole field and double checking your planting population. So going out through the field after planting right around V2 to V3 and doing stand counts is pretty important in deciding what your population count should be and if you are off the ball. So do you have any extra words for producers growing corn this season? Any recommendations? Well, I would just say stand count's going to be pretty important if you do see tillers, especially a lot of them. So doing those stand counts, getting into those fields when you're scouting and just doing it, measure out one one thousandth of an acre and just count them. See how close you are. See if you did dial in that planter the way you wanted to and just go from there. Overall, you're not going to see a huge yield difference, whether it's silage or grain but there could be a little bit differences if you do have multiple tillers per plant. Okay, and what types of management decisions might you need to make depending on what you see out there? Well, looking at your nutrients in your soil before planting and also after before your next season is always good. Make sure you have ex like a good amount of nutrients and then plan your stand count accordingly. Really just understand the hybrid you're gonna plant and just see what recommendations your retail will have for stand counts. Okay, fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us on Real Agriculture, and that was Aiden Phillips.